All right, me familia. How are we doing tonight? Come on, I think we can do better than that. What do you say, mom and dad? Let's hear some noise. Okay, okay, mad respect. Now, I gotta say, Justin's been doing his rounds. My name is Justin. And I think I can say that, honestly, this family has the best vibes in the whole restaurant. Hand to God, Scout's Honor, I really mean that. Anyway, my name's Justin, and welcome to Chevy's. Now, a little bird told me that somebody around these parts ordered the tableside guacamole experience. Was that bird a liar? Was it you? All right, little man, found it. Very nice. Well, my name is Justin, and I'm going to be your guacamole -a this evening. But before we get started, I have one very crucial cue that needs A. How spicy do we want to go? S I know. A vital question with righteous consequences. Now remember, you can always add spice, but you can never take away. So... What do we think, folks? What's that, Mom and Dad? You want to toss this decision to, to the little man? All right, I think I'm picking up on a vibe here. Now, little man, you've been ascended to a lofty perch indeed. What choice do you think you want to make for your family? I'll run down the options. Here at Chevy's, we offer a mild, uh, medium, uh, and il fuego options for our guacamole spice levels. No, mod respect, I too am a monoglot. That last one means hot, so what do we think, little man? Yo, fuego, not bad. Go big or go home, he said. A little man, I think I might have to exercise some just indiscretion here and throw this decision back to the mom and dad. You see, sometimes us grown-ups like to have a little extra say in how we're going to feel the next morning. Am I right, mom and dad? All right, bound it. So what do you think we're going to get? Yeah, all right, let's just go for a medium salsa right down the pipe. Very respectable choice. Let me guess, you guys supported Buttigieg in the primary? Just a little joke. Anyway, my name's Justin. Let's get started. So let me pose the question. What brings you folks to Chevy's this evening? We got a birthday. You're kidding. Little man, isn't it? I could have guessed. Now tell me, little man, how many laps around the sun does this make it? Eight. Crazy eight. What a big year you have yet to come. How are you feeling about the third grade? Okay, not too bad. Very decent. Look, a little trepidation never hurt nobody. As long as you remember that all your same friends are going to be there from the second grade, right, Mom and Dad? That's right. And it's going to go just fine. You excited for that California missions project, that little man? No, I'm right on the same page. I can't believe they still teach that either. Feliz cumpleaños to you and yours. Now let me ask... How is the hall, little man? Any good gift aronies swing your way this season? Oh, I see. Haven't gotten a chance to open said presentos yet. Well, tell me this between you and me, little man. You shake any of those boxes yet? Uh, far out, that's what I'm talking about. If it ain't Lego, it ain't Fuego. Now remind me what we decided on as far as spice level. Medium, all right. Just wanted to make sure I didn't add too many of these poplanas. They do back a bunch. Yeah, that's right. What's that little lady? Oh, your birthday wasn't that long ago either, was it? Well, let's hear it for good planning on the part of mom and dad, am I right? So what does that make you, little lady? 12 years old, not bad, not bad. How you enjoying middle school? Are you a year in or are you just starting? A year in, okay. Your birthday was a little while ago. What did you pull in? You're kidding me. I had 12 years old with a whole Nintendo Switch? Let's hear it for mom and dad winning that game of capitalism. What's that? Oh, your, your mom's boss got it for you. That's, that's weird. 
Speaking of these parentals, I can see those marks are getting a little low. Do you want me to ring your server around for a top off? <laughs> well, no need to fight over it. Uh, okay, why don't you two just take a look at Justin while your parents work this one out? Oh, they've been fighting a lot recently, have they? Let me tell you, sometimes grown-ups forget about the important things in life. Chiefly, good, honest Mexican cuisine with a Southwestern American flair. But that's why we come to Chevy's, to remember. Oh, you've come to a decision. More marks it is, that's what we like to hear. And if we need to arrange for some transportation, we got you covered up at the front desk. Very common at Chevy's. All right. Now let me ask the assembled, any aversion to cilantro among the parties here? I know some folks have that very unfortunate gene that makes the stuff taste like soap. But no, none represented, that's what we like to hear. All right. I would say that we are just about at a finished guacamole. So who's gonna be our designated taster this evening? What's that? You want Justin to taste? I can honestly say that in my 12 years as a guacamole at this Chevy's location at the Greenfield Mall, no one has ever allowed me to taste my own creation until now. From the bottom of my heart, I'm touched. Do not mind if I do. Thank you so much, Mi Familia, for this truly transcendent experience. The stuff of legend. Pardon my French, little guys, but damn, am I good. All right, you folks enjoy the rest of your time here at Chevy's. Little man, you might be looking forward to some more surprises from our wait staff come the dessert course. And you too, why don't you work it out for the sake of these little guys, what do we say? All right, now my name's Justin. I also do close-up magic for birthday parties and bar mitzvahs. Well, you can find my card at the reception desk. I hope you have a blessed evening. Thank you so much, and enjoy that guac.